Hi everyone, you are watching Chemistry with Kat. In my last video, we learned about solutions and how to express concentration in terms of molarity. In this video, we are going to learn how to express concentration, but this time in parts per million and parts per billion. Let's do it. In my last video, we reviewed solutions. A solute is what is present in a low quantity and is usually the solid, and the solvent is usually the liquid or whatever is present in the larger quantity in the solution. Now remember, a solution isn't always a solid with a liquid. It could just be two liquids mixed together, and that is also a solution. Parts per million and parts per billion are just another way to express concentration. The way we calculate parts per million is the mass of the solute in grams divided by the mass of the solution in grams times 10 to the power of 6, which is 1 million. Remember that the solute, which is at the top of the division equation, is the substance that is present in the smaller amount in the solution. We use parts per million when we have a very small solute to solution ratio. The equation for parts per billion is the exact same except for one difference. Instead of multiplying by 10 to the power of 6, we multiply times 10 to the power of 9, which is 1 billion. Parts per million and parts per billion are used in everyday life, and they're not always used for liquids. An example of it used for solids is in an iron pill you get at the drugstore. The amount of iron in that pill is written in parts per million. An example of of parts per million used in gases is the air we breathe. When the weather network is telling us how much of the air has carbon dioxide in it, they put it in parts per million. My example for this lesson is find the parts per million of copper sulfate in a solution made from 0.500 grams of copper sulfate and 400 milliliters of water. It says to assume the density of water is 1 gram per milliliter. So remember, with parts per million, we're dealing with mass of both the solute and of the solution. So we have to find the mass of water. So the mass is going to be the volume, 400 milliliters, times the density, which is one grams per milliliter. Now, if you ever forget how to do this, just go to the units. I know that I wanna end up with grams, so if I have milliliters here and then it's grams per milliliter here, I know that if I multiply them, the milliliters will cancel out and I'll be left with grams. So that leaves me with 400 grams for the water. Now, the mass of the entire solution is the copper sulfate plus the water. So mass of solution is going to equal 400 grams plus 0 0.500 grams. So I'm left with 400.500 grams in total. Now I can do the parts per million. The parts per million is going to be the mass of the solute, which is copper sulfate, 0 0.500 grams, divided by 400.500 grams, that's the mass of the solution, times 10 to the power of 6. Remember, if it was parts per billion, I would have to multiply it by 10 to the power of 9. That equals 1,248 parts per million. And that is a way of showing the concentration of the copper sulfate in the solution. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to turn on your notifications because I'm posting new videos every day at 9 a.m. As always, comment any questions or comment what you want to see next. I can't wait to see you back here tomorrow.